Come on, baby. Drink your milkies. Mom, this milk. I can't suck it out. Mom's nipple is a bit inverted. Use some strength. <laughs> Full already? I'm starving. It's just too much work to suck. I'll rest a bit and then continue. A few moments later. All day, every day, sucking this hard, my skin is broken. It hurts to death. Doctor, my nipples are like this. Both the baby and I are suffering. This nipple shield, go home and try it. Slap it on, it sucks on, and you're all set. It's super helpful for inverted nipples like yours. <laughs> Whose darn kid is that? He's so loud, I'm going crazy. Did you hear that? You better behave yourself. Behave myself about what? If you dare absorb any more nutrients, I will kick you out right now. Oh, okay. Oh, this is too dangerous. <coughs> if she gets mad one day and actually kicks me out, I'm doomed. Huh, whose baby is crying so hard? Are they hungry? Didn't I hate noisy kids the most? But hearing it really breaks my heart. Why do you look cuter and cuter today? Really? So, can I have a few more nutrients then? Here, take it, take everything. I love mom the most. Sweetie, mommy loves you too. Little sister, look how adorable this child is. Hmm, haha. <laughs> the only reason you don't like kids now is because you haven't given birth yet. I'm speaking from experience. Just wait until you give birth, and you'll love them. We've arrived. Hurry up and implant. Sounds great. A few moments later. How are you so fast? I haven't even implanted yet, and you're already this big? Look how tiny you are. I was naturally stronger than you, so of course I developed faster. You better hurry up too. I'm too close to you. I can't implant now. Stop dawdling. Now, look what you've done. I missed the best window. What should I do? If I can't implant, I can't absorb nutrients. My embryo hasn't even formed. I don't want to die. Don't cry. It's fine. I have nutrients over here. I knew you were the best. Doctor, my kids. Since things have come to this, you need to consider whether you want to keep these two little lives. Yeah, I finally have a little baby. All right, I'm implanted. Time to start secreting HCG. Hi, Ann. Hey, who are you guys? You're new here. We only show up during pregnancy. Our mission is to protect the embryo, support the corpus luteum, and promote fetal sex differentiation. We're busy. Don't hold us up. Protecting the fetus is a pretty big deal. Theft, what can a few little guys like them do? All talk. Exactly. Just a bunch of braggarts. <gasps> mm. Well, it's only been eight weeks. Why are there so many of them now? Normally, your HCG level is less than 5, now it's way too high, you're definitely pregnant. So, what's my level now? 100,000. What's that sound? Thump thump, thump thump, it's so annoying! That's your mom's heartbeat, kid. Well, it's been thumping non-stop for months, doesn't it ever take a break? You silly child, if it stopped, your mom would be gone. A few moments later. Oh my, why won't he stop crying? I just came out of mommy's little house. I don't feel safe at all. I want my mommy. Eyes, quick, find mommy. Where is she? Uh, since I'm a newborn, I'm still in a state of extreme farsightedness. I can't see clearly which one is mommy. I know, it's the person right in front of us. Huh, how do you know? I spent 10 months listening to that heartbeat in our little house, of course. I recognize the sound of mommy's heart. Wow, as soon as you held him, he stopped crying. It must be that special bond between a mother and child. A gene segment has been found with a hereditary risk. Oh no, what do I do? We'll have to perform a little surgery to fix the problematic gene. Okay, I guess. All right, let's look at this donor. We'll swap her healthy segment in for you. Done. Wow, that's pretty cool. Hey, while you're at it, can you swap in a long legs gene? Hey, that'll be extra. Hey buddy, I'm coming. Hey, looking at your breed, you don't seem very pure. Are you looking down on me? Let's just get this over with. A few moments later. Hey doctor, so does this mean our baby technically has to moms? I think what you really want is two wives. Don't rush, only one can go out at a time. This time, it's your turn. Ugh, at this rate, we'll be waiting forever. It's always just one egg and one sperm that get picked. We always have to wait in line. Who cares about going over there? I'm fine just staying right here by myself. Oh really, you think you're so tough? What are you gonna develop into all by yourself? Success! It succeeded! <coughs> she grew hair! Hey, Emph, you all just wait and see. A few moments later. It now has teeth, hair, skin, and bones. Could it actually be developing into a fetus? 
Nonsense, right now, it's just a teratoma. Instead of being a proper reproductive cell, it decided to develop abnormally. None of you should learn from her. The large lump on your daughter's abdomen is a teratoma. A fetus. Did you get a boyfriend? A teratoma is not a fetus. It's a tumor formed from the abnormal development of reproductive cells. Children, and even men, can potentially get them. We should remove it with surgery. Hey, this house ain't bad. I'll just settle down here. Whoa, what is this thing? It's sucking all my nutrients like a maniac. Hmm, let me Google this. Wait, this can't be... I... can it? Hey, brain, bro, I think I've grown a tumor. Yo, don't panic. Let's control its growth first. Let me think of a plan. But how do I control it? Hey, stomach, sis, I've grown a tumor. You need to control the diet. We have to starve this tumor flat. Aja, I can't control what she eats. The mouth is in charge of that. Hmm, well then, if she eats, you just make her throw it up. <laughs> huh, what's wrong? I must have eaten something bad. Well, this immune army is super efficient. They wiped out all the bacteria. What are you doing? Hey, why are you burrowing into my wall? Mommy, I'm the fertilized egg. Don't you mommy me. You look like a tumor to me. Immune army, get this egg thingy out of here. Charge. Help, help. What's up, uterus? A fertilized egg might be implanting soon. Be on high alert. How, fertilized egg? <gasps> Oh yeah, I think I just got rid of one of those. Uh. Hey doctor, I don't get it. All my tests came back normal, so why am I still not pregnant? It's your own immune system. It's mistaking the fertilized egg for bacteria and destroying it. <sighs> Bro, who are you? Where did you come from? Kid, I'm what your mom left behind after getting a tetanus shot. So, you're tetanus? I'm the antigen from the atype substance. I combined with the antibodies in your mom's O-type serum to become me. Uh, what a type? O-type nonsense, beat it! I suggest you speak to me nicely, or else... Hey, what? As if I'm afraid of you. Hmm, you forced my hand. Doctor, look at the color of my baby. He looks like a golden arhat. Does he have a talent for martial arts? What on earth is a golden arhat? This is jaundice. It's because you got a tetanus shot earlier, which produced EG blood type antibodies, and that's why you have this bronze baby. Get ready for a blood exchange for the baby. <gasps> Uterus, get ready, a baby is about to implant. Oh, this is wonderful. I'm finally going to be a mommy. Mommy. Oh, my sweet baby, grow big and strong. <coughs> my darling baby, why haven't you turned into a, well, a baby yet? Who are you calling darling baby? I'm the real baby. Oh, you really are my baby. Then, what is that thing? Come, you forced my hand. <laughs> Oh, it hurts so much. Your wife's uterine fibroid is showing red degeneration. The baby can't be saved. My little darling has arrived. Wait, why is there an extra chromosome? No matter what, you are my precious baby. Hey, when is feeding time? Trying to starve me to death, are you? How could I bear to starve you? Eat up quickly. That's all there is. I'm not full. Give me more. Hey, stop pulling. There truly is no more. I can't even keep up with my own nutrition. I don't care. I need to eat. Hey, little rascal. Stop kicking. The doctor said there's something wrong with you. It looks like I really can't keep you. Mom, please don't leave me. I'm your child. You know, my precious. Sweetie, how could I have the heart to leave you? I promise I'll take good care of you. Hey, you don't have to be so down about it. The future of every child all have infinite possibilities. You're full term now. We need to get ready. What? I have to go out already. Mommy, I'm scared. Oh, my sweet darling, don't be scared. Mommy has calculated it for you. Your truly lucky day is a month from now. Wait until then to come out. By then, your destiny will be one of great wealth and honor. But we're already at 40 weeks. So what? Everyone knows the later a baby is born, the better their development is. What's the harm in letting him stay in my belly a little longer? Mm -hmm. It's 42 weeks now. Get the baby out of there, or he's at risk of suffocating. Yeah, Mom, I feel like I'm not getting enough to eat lately. Maybe I should just go out now. Oh, my precious. Just hang on a little longer. The lucky day is almost here. And you, stop scaring people. Get lost. And don't you dare ruin my baby's prosperous destiny. A few moments later. Uh, I can't breathe. My baby, don't you scare mommy. Just hold on for one more day. The lucky day is tomorrow. Forget your lucky days. He needs to come out right now. Oh, what a shame. We missed tomorrow's auspicious day. You big oaf, do you know you've ruined my baby's destiny of wealth and honor? What destiny of wealth? I only know that if he hadn't come out, he wouldn't have a life at all. Look at all this amniotic fluid. My territory has gotten huge. I can move around so much more easily now. I can even play jump rope now. 
You better calm down. Look what you've done to the umbilical cord. Oh, come on. Gotta get some exercise. Jeez, so stingy. I want to do some hot, spicy rolling around too. I'm gonna play. I'll do my yoga and tie some knots. Stop causing trouble. If you can't entangle the cord, you're dead. <laughs> Why can't I breathe? It's a real not now. Oxygen can't get through. Quick, do something to save me. What am I gonna do? I'll just have to get you out of here. Your kid is one lucky tough cookie. The umbilical cord was tied in a flower knot. Luckily, we were on time. A moment later and it wouldn't have been good. He gets his toughness from me, huh? 